Hey guys, welcome to my first YouTube video. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a little short intro before watching my video. I've been wanting to do makeup tutorials for a little while now, but I haven't actually got up the courage to upload one on YouTube, but finally I have. So I hope you guys like it. And if you do like it, please like and comment good comments and subscribe so you can see my future videos. Today I'm gonna be doing a full face makeup look just using um, my favorite drugstore products. I don't have makeup for my eyebrows from the drugstore so I did them off of this video. If you're wanting to know what I use for my eyebrows, I use the Cabral with the Gimme Brow from Benefit and that's just what I use every day for my eyebrows but it's obviously not from the drugstore, so I couldn't put it into the video. So yeah, anyways, enough with the boring intro stuff. Let's get right into the video. So I'm gonna start off with using the e.l.f. Blemish Control Primer, um, and I'm just putting that in areas where I have problems, which is on my forehead and just around my nose and my chin. Now I'm gonna be using um, the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation from Maybelline. I haven't used this yet, so this is kind of like a tester, but I've heard good things about it, so we will give it a try. And I'm just gonna start off by putting dabs of it all over my face. I'm just using a dupe beauty blender from Forever 21. It's not really drugstore, but it's like a cheap version of a beauty blender. And I still have all of this on my hand, so that's good. Just a little warning that it comes out pretty quickly. So I really like this um, Fit Me Mountain Portless Foundation. It went on really nicely. And the finish is super matte and just like I don't know, it's really nice, I really like it. Um, so now I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And I'm just gonna be doing it under my eyes. On the bridge of my nose, middle of my forehead, Cupid's bow. Oh, too much on my cupid's bow and on my chin. I'm gonna blend that all in with the dupe beauty blender as well. Okay, now I'm gonna be using this other dupe beauty blender for my bacon. Baking, not bacon. I'm gonna be using cornstarch for this. Um, I've heard people say that it's a good dupe for um, setting powder and it's obviously super cheap. Um, I also have the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD powder which I will also be using. I don't really need it on my forehead because my forehead gets pretty dry already, so I don't think I need that. And while that bakes, I'm gonna take the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder. And it comes with a sponge, but I'm not gonna use the sponge. I'm gonna use the BS Mall Face Round Brush that I got off of Amazon. So it's kind of drugstore because it's cheap. So I just say it's from a drugstore. And I'm just gonna put that in all the other places on my face to set my foundation. Okay, so I brushed off the cornstarch and it worked pretty well. Like not as good, obviously, as a um, like high quality um, setting powder, but it worked pretty well if you're looking for a cheaper option. I am going to use the Rimmel London Natural Bronzer in color Sunlight. This is also new, I just got it today, so I'm trying it out. I'm gonna go ahead and 
going to start on my contouring. I am using the e.l.f. contour palette. Ooh, tons of powder just fell down onto my lip. Good. I'm going to use the BS Mall Flat Face Flat Angled Brush. And I'm taking the lighter brown color. brush and I'm just bronzing up my face and this pearl illuminizing bronzer next I'm taking the Maybelline master strobing stick in the lighter shade 100 and I'm putting it on my cheeks and on my nose. And then I'm just gonna blend it in with my finger. And then I'm also gonna blend it in using some powder highlighter. It's the e.l.f. Um, illuminating palette. I'm obviously gonna use this one. As you can tell, I use that one all the time. Using the e.l.f. angled blush brush. Okay, so I just blended that in with my fingers a little bit more and now it looks a little more subtle. And now I'm gonna do my eyes. So I already put mascara on. And I use my favorite mascara right now, which is the Revlon Volume and Length Magnified Mascara. They have like a bunch of these with different colored tops. Um, my favorite is this one and the purple one. And then for my bottom lashes, I use the Telescopic Mascara from L'Oreal. And I haven't done that, so I'm just gonna... Okay, now I'm gonna do my eyes. So I'm using the e.l.f. 20 shade eyeshadow palette, which is beautiful. I'm also using the e.l.f. made for matte palette and the Essence All About Bronze eyeshadow palette, which I just bought today as well. So I'm really excited to try these colors out. They look so pretty. They're all shimmery shades which i needed i don't have a lot of shimmery shades that are like really good so i was super excited about that one i'm going to be using a bs mall look at the little little dictionary thing here this one is the precision round brush from the bs mall collection it came with 10 different brushes off of Amazon and they're so good. They're like, I don't even remember how much they were, but they were so cheap and they're so good. I really recommend them. They also come in a bunch of different colors. I'll be going in with this color here as my base color. This is the e.l.f. made from matte palette. Um, I'm gonna be going in with this one and this one here. Just mixing them together to make that dark brown look a little bit lighter. And I'm going back to the e.l.f. 20 shade palette. And I'm going to be using this color up here. Okay, now I'm going to be going in with the Essence Bronze palette. Sorry, All About Bronze palette with oh my god my nail just dug into it when i opened it and now there's a big chunk missing okay anyways i'm gonna be using the elf brush that came in this palette here and i'm gonna be using the flat side of the brush i think i'm gonna use this one here so pigmented I'm gonna go back with the um, powder, not powder, eyeshadow fluffy brush. 
and just blend it all together. Then to just make my eyes pop, I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes again. Okay, so for the last part of my eyes, I'm gonna put this um, Pacifica Natural Minerals Waterproof Eyeliner on my waterline. Just right under my eyelashes. Okay, so my very last step is to use the NYX Matte Finish Finishing Spray. This just keeps your makeup in place for so much longer. 